social media can make you think that everyone else is doing loads and you are doing nothing, then this literally is the answer to your prayers. The thickest, ugh, gloopiest consistency and I just hate the smell of it. Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Just checking the background to see what's going on. How are we all doing? I hope we're all doing well. Am I in focus? I think I'm in focus. Excuse the hair today guys, I literally, gonna be honest with you, couldn't be bothered to do my hair. I woke up and I thought, what's the point in washing it? Like, I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything and I hope you guys don't mind the egghead that's going on. How are you guys doing anyway? I hope you're all doing okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have a little catch up with you in this vlog um, and just see how you're all feeling because if I'm quite honest with you, gonna be quite honest and I always like my vlogs to be really upbeat and cheery and happy but I feel like shit. <laughs> that's, to be completely honest with you, that's how I feel. I feel like crap at the moment. I can't seem to shake the mood, you know? Um, and I'm actually vlogging today because vlogging actually puts me in a good mood. So, yeah, and I've got no one to spend my time with. I don't really see anyone or do anything and we can't really do that again. And so talking to you guys feels like I'm actually with people. So yeah, <laughs> anyway, it's actually two o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't even been eating my breakfast yet. But I actually thought, well, I went last night to Tesco's and I actually bought some like new porridge and alpine and stuff. So I'm gonna show you how I make like a wintry tasty porridge. So it's a little bit random, but I get a bowl and then I pour in, these are, um, this is so hard to do with one hand but i use these are like the scottish oats because i feel like scottish oats have got a bit more bite to them than regular oats so i put like half in of these so here's like half a bowl well not half a bowl but like half the amount that i'm gonna have of these oats and then i mix it with this so i used to eat this all the time and then i kind of like forgot about it and then yesterday i was at tesco's and i was like do you know what i'm gonna buy this again so this is just alpen and this is the no added sugar swiss muesli and I love like mixing it with my porridge because I love like raisins and oats and like almonds all mixed together because I love things being chewy. So I put in a little bit of this. So as you can see, it's all mixed. Oh my God, I literally nearly threw that all over the counter. And then I'm going to put in oat milk. But the oat milk just isn't any type of oat milk. It is the chocolate deluxe oat milk. So this is chocolate oat milk and guys i shouldn't drink it out of the carton but no one else drinks it in my house so you know it doesn't matter if i do but i'm gonna drink it out of this tiny wine glass because why not this is <sighs> delicious honestly it tastes like chocolate milkshake mm. it's so good but basically i put that on my oats like i say it's not really that healthy but it tastes good so I'm making like chocolatey oats. So this is what I do. And then I put this in the microwave for like a couple of minutes and wait until it's cooked. So bear with. Anyway, whilst my porridge is cooking and I drink the rest of my bougie chocolate milkshake, um, I just thought I'd tell you what we're doing in this vlog today. Basically, I'm just spending the day at home. I've got a huge um, Miss Pat order to show you. Picked up some really nice stuff. Um, I'm also going to show you guys because I've been meaning to do this for ages But I'm going to show you guys how I use the coconut oil and castor oil in my hair They're like my secret hair tricks I'm going to give away like my hair secrets in this vlog That'll probably be like to this evening because I always do that before bed um, And also I need to pop to town So I need to go to Superdrug and get some toiletries, some face masks and stuff like that This weekend I basically just plan to have like a weekend at home um, and I'm just gonna like have like a self-care weekend. I feel like I really need it. I've actually got loads of work to do this weekend as well, but you know, we can kind of like mix things in at the same time. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna pop into Superdrug, pick up those things, probably go to M&S because I love the snacks that we get from M&S. And my porridge is about to explode. Oh my God, this bowl is so hot. Oh, let me try and balance it on something. I then just add, I don't know if you can see. I just add raspberry, these ones, just from Tesco's. I'm just adding some peanut butter now. If you're wondering what I'm doing, there's not really very much left in this jar, but you know, every little helps. That's the Tesco motto. And this is, I mean, it doesn't really look that great. I'm not gonna win like food blogger of the year award here, but this is my kind of like healthy, but yummy breakfast in winter. So there it is. It's porridge with chocolate milk, peanut butter, raspberries, and let me tell you guys, this will fill you up and it's also 
just so nice like it's so so yummy um and it is fairly healthy at the same time i mean the chocolate milk i don't know how bad that is for you like someone's going to tell me in the comments now it's so bad for you aren't they but whatever i mean we need to live a little bit so mm, mm, mm. by the way totally unsure why i'm eating off of a soup spoon but there was no other spoons washed up so we won't judge that the current state of our house is so bad and it is me to blame and i just feel like it's stressing me out but i just need to sort everything out i've done like a massive pile here which is all going to charity there's also a pile upstairs which is going to charity as well um i have like e-vloggers bags i have just so much stuff but i'm sorting it all out and it's making me feel like less stressed the more sorted i'm getting it's so dark in here like honestly it looks like it's like five o'clock at night and it's two o'clock in the afternoon obviously there's like light coming from that window because it probably doesn't look as dark to you guys but to me this is like five o'clock in the evening later 10 o'clock at night no it's all it's done all day is rain actually all it's done all week is rain and yeah it's thursday and i think we've had rain since last thursday i had to think about that but i actually think it rains every day since last thursday i need a holiday we all need a holiday <sighs> it's stress right now you know anyway i've got some fun things to show you guys so let's head upstairs to my mirror which by the way I am hopefully going to have like a new mirror and stuff this week. She just realised the reason I got onto that whole story was because basically my sister's moved out and this is my sister's room, the one here. And I'm going to kind of like turn her room into somewhere where I can show you my outfits and stuff better. Because you'll see in this mirror in a minute, like it's fine. But like because the light's not that good here today, it just doesn't look great. So I'm going to turn her room into a place where I can kind of film whenever I want. And I can show you guys like my outfits and stuff like that just a lot easier than I can right now. So before I show you this outfit, I just want to quickly say sorry about the weather. Obviously, I can't do anything about the weather, but it makes the light in my house terrible. I know I've already said it, but I don't have any light in. One day I will. I'll have my own room where I can just film and everything will be fine, even if the weather's crap. But at the moment, I don't. So I do apologize that this isn't the best lighting ever, but it's literally continuously rained for four days and... I want to show you guys what I picked up from Miss Pap. So my first outfit is this. And if I do say so myself, I absolutely love it. So let's start with my jacket. So my jacket is a shacket. You know how much I love a shacket. It's this kind of teddy, like, brogue material. Um, do you call it brogue or do you call it brogue? Brogue or brogue? I think it's brogue, isn't it? It's not brogue. Brogue is a shoe that you wear. It's got tortoiseshell buttons. It's this teddy material and it's in this beige colour, which... We all know how much I love a beige colour. I actually picked this up in a size large, so it would be super oversized because I had this idea of wearing it as a dress. And as you can see, it's very big. If you were to wear this not as a dress, it would be very, very oversized. I'd probably just say get your regular size. But for the idea that I had, this is like the perfect length because it covers my bum nicely. And... Um, yeah, I just think it looks great. Then underneath, I've just got on a knitted jumper. It should actually just be a regular jumper, but it's actually long enough because, once again, I bought it in a size large um, for me to wear it as a dress. So I've just popped it on with these nude boots and then my YSL bag. And if I do say so myself, I absolutely am feeling this outfit 100%. I think it looks so nice. You could also dress this down as well. Like if you aren't really like a heel person, obviously I've dressed it up with these heels. You could easily just wear it with like black leather leggings and a pair of trainers or a pair of boots or something like that. But I personally love this outfit and this whole look. Um, and it is definitely something that I will 100% be wearing out. Okay, so this next outfit, I was really thinking of you guys when I ordered it. Because I know how many of you are after that oversized leather jacket from H&M, which has been out of stock since like, I don't know, the last three months. I don't think they're probably ever going to get it back in stock. Don't know. But I saw this on Miss Pap and I thought to myself, this is a fraction of the price. Obviously, it's faux leather and not real leather, but it gives the same look. Like, I know you guys are after this kind of oversized leather jacket look. And look at this. It's literally a fraction of the price and it looks so cool like honestly so i picked this up in a size large so obviously i went oversized it is already an oversized fit so if you don't want it to be extra big like this one then just get your regular size i personally love things being this big i know you guys always hate it when i have everything oversized and i say this in every video nowadays but 
I personally just like love this bigger look but yeah so I picked this jacket up because I wanted to try it out for you guys and just see how it looked and basically if you're in the market for an oversized affordable leather jacket that kind of gives you the look of you know being oversized and everything but you don't want to splash the cash on anything then this literally is the answer to your prayers and I don't think it looks that dissimilar from my H&M one personally it really doesn't it does feel different and this is a lot lot lighter my H&M one is so heavy um, almost too heavy like honestly when I wear it I feel like this this isn't at all like you could easily wear this on a night out um, and I just think it's super cool so yeah it's got all silver detailing on it I actually put on underneath it just a zip hoodie also from Miss Pap um, I picked this up I think also in a size large um, but that's just like a plain black zip up hoodie and then I've paired it with these ripped jeans um, also from Miss Pap as well obviously and these are in a size 10 so they've got like a rip in this knee here but I personally think this outfit looks so cool. Well, obviously, I'm going to say that because I styled the outfit. So hopefully, I think it's cool. But I really, really do. And I feel like it's kind of like an expensive outfit, but for an affordable price. Like, it looks like... like if you were to see someone out kind of dressed in this, I would probably think, yeah, like, that outfit cost a lot of money. And it really didn't. It really didn't at all. It's definitely affordable and... I'm actually so happy I found this jacket for you guys because, well, it's just a fraction of the price and answers all our oversized leather jacket dreams. <laughs> so exactly the same outfit but with the oversized leather jacket instead, just so you can see with these boots. I think this looks so cool. Absolutely love like this whole look. So with like an oversized jacket, a hoodie, and then like kind of to dress it up when it's not too dressy, a pair of like knee high boots. I think it's such a vibe. I feel like you just look really cool. That's my opinion. It might not be for everyone, but I really like it personally. <laughs> Before I show you the coat that I'm about to put on, I just actually want to quickly show you these trousers like properly so you can see them. They're just like a pair of coated kind of faux leather skinnies, but they fit like a dream. Like, I don't know if you can see them because black's so hard to see in certain lights, but they're super stretchy. So they're really comfy. I have them in my regular size and they're just, well, just so comfortable. Like often leather trousers, I don't know if any of you guys just like can feel my pain with this. But often leather trousers make you feel so hot <laughs> because leather's like got no breathing in it. They just make you sweat a lot. These though, they're much thinner than a leather trouser but still give the same kind of look. And they're just a lot more breathable. And they're also like jeans. They've got pockets in them. They haven't got any belt loops but they've got like a button and a zip. But I just felt like these trousers kind of needed their own appreciation because they genuinely are... A lovely pair of leather trousers for a really affordable price i don't know if i've told you already i actually just got these in my regular size but um but yeah they fit really 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 nicely really happy with those i'm gonna show you the coat though wait until you see this coat i'm kind of feeling like corella deville right now you can't really see it because of the light let me get a little bit closer i don't think you can see it can you by the way do we like my hair in a bun i feel like i don't recognize myself with my hair up like this but um do we like it or do we feel like it looks so much better down? Anyway, the coat. It is an oversized, very, very soft and snuggly black faux fur coat. And honestly, it's very bougie. Like, you look very kind of regal in it, I have to say. And I said it not so long ago about a coat on here, but if you could feel... I wish that I could, like, let you feel it through the screen because it's like a blanket do you know chris would love to sleep on this he would really love this but it just is so so soft and it's gorgeous i have to say it's gorgeous and you know what it feels so expensive if this was in like reese or something like that for 300 pounds i would just think yeah it's a nice coat it's definitely worth it it feels like a dream and the fact it's on miss pap and it is so affordable I actually, I said it in my last video that I worked with Miss Pap on. And obviously all of these opinions are totally honest. Like I don't have to say any of this stuff at all. But Miss Pap have 100% up their game just recently. You probably all saw that like oversized white teddy coat that I wore um, like in a video from them last time. And I've worn it so much since because the quality and the feel of it is unbelievable. 
and so is this coat. You would just never ever know where it was from. Um, but anyway, I picked it up in a size 12, so it's one bigger than my regular size. Even though it's an oversized fit, I wouldn't actually say it is that oversized. Like, this is it done up. I could get a jumper on underneath this, but it's not that roomy. So I would probably say if you were in between sizes, I would personally size it up. I'm just checking arm length. Um, but if you don't like things being obviously too oversized, just get your regular size. But it's a really gorgeous coat, guys. I can't explain to you. And with these faux leather trousers on as well, I feel like it's a very kind of I'm bougie look. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really love this. Okay, so next outfit, I've actually just gone a lot more casual. So I've got on that zip hoodie that I wore with the leather jacket before, which actually this outfit would look really nice with that leather jacket. I'm going to show you both. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've just got that zip hoodie on in a size large. I'm just going to show you how long it comes down um, because it actually does come down really long. You could wear it with like leather trousers. The leather trousers I just showed you would look really nice with it. Um, but I've actually just got it on. So I've tucked it up and I've just got it on with a pair of like darker denim um, mum jeans and then just a pair of Converse on as well. So like a really casual look. So this is just something that I would wear like on an everyday basis. I'll put it on with my leather jacket so you can kind of like see what it looks like with that. So for example, this is just what it looks like with the leather jacket on. So with the denim jeans, Converse, the black hoodie, and this is like a really just a me outfit and just it's really kind of like a timeless outfit as well. So annoying that when I walk backwards, the camera gets even darker than it already is in this light but hopefully you can see enough to kind of see what I'm showing you. So this is the outfit with this on but I actually have a jacket that goes really cool with this as well. Okay so it's exactly the same outfit but instead of the leather jacket I have got on this checked jacket. So I have this on in the biggest size which is a size large but anyway this is just the kind of way you could wear in the daytime when you want to be casual so just with the hoodie, the mum jeans and then the converse on just really really comfy and yeah just like a really classic classic easy kind of outfit something I would just wear to like run errands or something like that in and the last thing I want to show you by the way look how short I look I took off my heels and now I feel like I look like a dwarf anyway the last thing I want to show you is this it's kind of like a twist on a really casual jumper that made dressy so it's this kind of like acid wash gray I don't know if you can see I think you probably can um, and it's balloon sleeves so can you see the sleeves on it it's ballooned I have this in my regular size i think oh yeah i do actually my regular size that was good remembering from me so i have it in a size 10 um it would look really nice with leather leggings i've just got it on with bare legs right now um you could wear it with like trainers you could dress it up with a pair of heels and the reason i like it so much is i love like wearing loungewear and i just love being comfy but this is comfy loungewear but makes it look like you're not a complete bum because i feel like these sleeves just make it look so fancy and i'm really here for it I love it. It would also look really nice if you kind of belted it. You know that trick I do with a shoelace? Tie it around your waist, kind of roughed it up a little bit. That would look really nice with it as well. But yeah, that was everything that I picked up from Miss Pap. As always, I'll leave everything linked down below so you can go and shop it all. Um, but I am actually going to put on a pair of trousers and we're going to go to Superdrug because I'm going to go and pick up some essentials to make myself feel like a million dollars. I decided to completely change my outfit and just wear this, which I've honestly been living in. It's like a knitted two-piece like co-ord tracksuit, also from Miss Pat, but I got it like last time I ordered from them and it's so comfy. Also, the quality of it's so good. I think I've honestly worn it like five times. And it's had no bobbling at all, like I'm feeling between the legs, no bobbling. I mean, it's really thick and it's just, as I say, a black knitted material. It comes in different colours, I believe. Um, but as always, I just like everything to be in black. Um, so I'm just going to put on a bomber jacket and head to the shops. This really smells like Pent Halligan's Helfetti, because I'm going to be honest, haven't washed it since I last wore it. Um, and that perfume just stays forever. Well, I've just got to the shopping precinct. Precinct? Is that even a word? Do you know, like a shopping area, arena? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like a place where there's lots of shops. Um, and I'm actually looking in front of me here. The well, that was a Revy engine. The cinema that was here was Cineworld. How sad is that? It just made. I just looked at it and just thought that's literally so sad that that is never gonna open again as Cineworld. Yeah, I just feel like loads is going on in the world right now and 
it's just really shit isn't it like what's mad is like if you if you rewound to march rewound rewinded is that even i don't know why i can't get my words out it's because i don't speak to anyone <laughs> i actually get all my words wrong and out oh my god i feel like i get all my words middle muddle wow is that a joke <laughs> I feel like I get all my words muddled up nowadays because I barely speak to anyone like on a daily basis I don't really feel like I talk that much but anyway do you not think it's crazy that like if you rewinded to rewound whatever I'm just gonna skip that if you went back to March like so much would have been different this year if coronavirus and this whole period hadn't have happened I know everyone can think that way but like it's just mad it's so sad all these businesses shutting down like people losing their jobs everything is so hard for everyone like mental health is like at an all-time low and it's just so shit like i just feel like every single day is groundhog day like i have nothing to look forward to and i'm not just saying this about me i'm saying this like it's the same for everyone at the moment have nothing to look forward to like yeah literally like the best thing i'm doing today is coming to Superdrug. I've got no plans for the weekend. I've not been out or done anything for. I just, you know, it's just really shit. But do you know why I'm saying it? And I always say this on vlogs and I always say it on Instagram stories. But the reason I'm saying this to you guys is not to moan and be like, whoa, my life is so shit and my life is so boring. Because do you know what? It's not shit. We're all healthy and we're happy. And that is the biggest things in life. Being healthy is a big thing. But anyway, but the reason I say it is because social media can make you think that everyone else is doing loads and you are doing nothing so if i tell you guys that i have been doing absolutely nothing i've barely left the house i barely see anyone and i get depressed because my life's so boring and that helps one person feel a little bit better about their life right now then i'm glad i've said it because it's true my life is fucking boring so hopefully that's made someone else out there feel a little bit normal and a little bit more sane because we're in this together guys and do you know what else is mad look at this woman everyone's in masks what the hell is 2020 all about anyway i need to get out of the car because in a minute the shops are going to shut so i better put on my mask which i actually got free in a delivery the other day and um get on with why i'm here i'm also going to go to m&s because m&s is my favorite food and I feel like treating myself to maybe some Colin the Caterpillars. <laughs> I just tried to get a parking ticket and I don't know whether I'm being thick. I just can't seem to use the machine. So I'm probably going to come back out to an actual ticket because I couldn't pay for one. I don't know whether it's because it's nearly five o'clock and the parking finishes at five. So I was just going to pay for like 20 minutes, but it didn't work anyway. So that was a complete waste of time. Anyway, I'm going to super drug. So let's get all the bits I need. I feel like... Being a super drug, I end up buying so much stuff I don't need. Here's my basket. So, let's go. This looks good. I don't often use L'Oreal products, like, on my face. I just use it on my hair, but I'm going to try this. This oil, guys, is the best hair oil ever. I've been using it for, God, honestly, like, years and years and years. This is the repair one. I also use the smooth one. In here, it's six pounds. In savers, it's actually only three pounds. I use it every single day in my hair after I wash it. I put in about 12 pumps, which sounds like a lot because it's a dry oil. It doesn't go greasy at all. And I swear, it keeps my hair in amazing condition. And I've honestly been using it for like, I don't even know, like 10 years or something ridiculous. It's unreal. Look at um, these feet masks. I think I'm gonna get honey and almond, coconut, and you can get three for two so um, i don't know peppermint on your feet i feel like that's going to be really cold i'm going to get another honey and almond i'm going to give one to my mum probably the most weird and random thing i'm ever going to show you but these are well not these ones in tiktok i usually use the hollywood browser ones i get them from amazon but i've never seen that wilkinson do these and they're only 2 99 but basically these are so good for shaping your eyebrows and also i really don't have a hairy face so i shouldn't do it but have you ever had dermaplaning done, like a dermaplaning facial? This is basically that, but you just do it at home and it makes your face so smooth. It says it doesn't make your hair grow back more. I mean, my facial hair was never that bad anyway. If you want a smooth face, 
these are really good. At the same time, I don't really want to be advertising that because I don't know if it makes your hair grow back thicker. But yeah, look it up. I really rate these. Okay, I've just asked on Instagram what are your guys' favourite, like, everyday drugstore foundations are. So, most of you are saying, let me quickly just check again. Okay, so look in here, pretty much, it's like a real mixed bag. Most people are saying L'Oreal, but you're either saying L'Oreal True Match or L'Oreal, there's loads of people saying L'Oreal True Match or L'Oreal Infallible. There's actually, honestly, I posted this about two minutes ago. <laughs> there's also quite a lot of people saying Max Factor All Day Flawless, the Ordinary, they don't have that here, so that's not an option. Um, Maybelline, a lot of people saying Super Stay Foundation, but what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna get a L'Oreal True Match and a L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours, I think I'm saying that right, and I'm gonna try them out. Basically, I always use, and have done forever, I always use Giorgio Marni Luminous Silk, and I use Bobbi Brown, and they're like the ones I rate 100%, but obviously they're super expensive, and the thing is with that is like when you're not really going anywhere anywhere fancy you don't want to use that like, really expensive foundation because obviously it costs a fortune so i want to test out some like drugstore ones okay so this is l'oreal true match i actually don't know what shade i'd be at all and i don't feel like there's any testers so this could be interesting and then l'oreal infallible okay and here's l'oreal infallible i'm going to buy both and have a rough guess of what color i'm gonna be and I'm gonna try them out this week and tell you guys. Right, I've really got no idea about colors at the moment and you can't test anything because obviously coronavirus. <laughs> Everything's like coronavirus. Um, but I've gone for this one in the true match. I've gone for shade 2N. The girl just helped me. She was actually really lovely and really helpful. And I think in Infallible, I'm gonna go for 130, which is beige. I really don't know, you know. I don't wanna buy them and they don't match me at all, but I feel like it's better getting it too light and then you can bronze it up. If you get it too dark, you're just doomed. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna try these. Also, it's so weird, me vlogging around here, like it's so quiet in here, so I don't really mind. But in London, no one really looks at you because I feel like in London, like everything goes. But where I live and vlogging on my own, everyone looks at me like, what are you doing? Like, it's so funny. Everyone thinks I'm nuts. Well, I am literally nuts. Anyway, on to concealer i always use the same drugstore concealer so i always use maybelline i'll show you which one so this is the one i always use maybelline Ugh, what shade do i usually get i want to say i usually get light have they got light light looks quite dark okay so this is my foundation compared to my concealer you can't really tell can you can i see in real life i think that's quite a good match actually yeah that's kind of good total switch from Superdrug into Marks and Spencers but this layered let me pick it up so I can show you this Mexican layered dip I kid you not guys is so banging with like tortilla chips it's basically like nachos but it's got salsa guacamole um, and sour cream and cheese and it's honestly so good back in the car my god I literally look bald because of the light in here um, and I went to M&S, picked up some stuff for me to eat over the next couple of days because I'm probably just going to spend the weekend at home and I'm not really the best cook and I love M&S, the um, vegan meals. I also just picked up a pack of olives. I absolutely love olives. Does anyone else love olives? My favourite ones. Oh no. I picked up ones with hips in. But my favourite olives are the ones stuffed with garlic. But they don't do them in there for some reason. These ones have garlic like on them so good I absolutely love olives but apparently right olives aren't actually that good for you I recently found out about that but I swear anything that tastes nice is never good for you is it but we can still enjoy it anyway I'm gonna go home because my mum says I've got some dinner I sound like literally like a 10 year old don't I say my mum's cooked me dinner but even at my age to get cooked dinner I'm always here for it good evening guys i haven't been well i was about to say i haven't been in very long but i actually have i've been in all evening i've had dinner with my mum um, and it's actually pretty late and i'm about to go to bed but i decided what i was going to do is show you how i put my hair oils into my hair if you follow me on instagram you know i did well you'll have seen it i did a ad for amazon not long ago just showing you products that i already purchased from amazon I purchased so much on amazon i feel like everyone does 
Um, and some of the things that I've purchased and have been using for God, I can't even remember how many years, are these hair oils. So this is just coconut oil. This is actually so gross, like there's hair all over this bottle, but this is castor oil. Um, and then basically everyone kept messaging me like, how do you use them? What do you do with them? So I just thought as I'm going to bed and I'm doing like my nighttime routine, I just quickly show you what I do with these oils. By the way, this bruise, I do not know where it came from. It just appeared. I saw it this morning and I was like, what even is that from? Anyway, I put these oils in before bed. Not every single night. I, I try and do it, I guess, like two times a week. I think what you do need to just take into consideration is like different hair types. So I obviously have well not obviously but i have quite thick hair some people are like your hair's not thick but my hair is quite thick at the root also i have bleached hair so often bleached hair is a little bit drier quite a lot drier um than unbleached hair so they're just a couple of things to take into consideration why i mean that is these oils are very oily so if you have fine hair i would be a lot more sparing with what you use and also this is like a couple of tips i need you to know before i get into this you need to make sure you wash the hair oil out when you wake up in the morning. A few times I've made the mistake of kind of leaving the hair oil for the whole day. Then when you go to wash your hair, it is an absolute nightmare to wash out. Also, when I do this with my hair, the next morning I will double shampoo. So I'll shampoo once, just make sure everything's out and then shampoo again. Sometimes there is a little bit of oil residue like left over, but usually there's not now these have so many different benefits um i mean look up online the benefits of using castor oil and stuff like it helps hair growth it's meant to help like moisturize your hair i've just been doing this for years if i'm honest like i mean i have really nice healthy hair touch wood so i do think it definitely does work um but i can't say that it's going to be like a miracle work or anything like that i don't really know but honestly if you look up online like the benefits of coconut oil and castor oil in your hair there's lots of them. So first of all, I do castor oil. This is the thickest, ugh, gloopiest consistency. And I just hate the smell of it. When it's on your hair though, you can't really smell it. But I mean, I used to do like tiny little dots like this, like really not a lot. It's like thick, like I can't explain what it's like. And then I used to just kind of like rub it really gently into my scalp. Nowadays, I just rub it massively into my scalp i also don't use it so sparingly anymore i know i can get it out when i wash it so i don't really care but i just like i say again if you do have fine hair you could definitely do this but you might need like a couple more washes to get it out this is really meant to be like great for kind of like hair growth um and i mean yeah i've just loads of people say to me that they've been doing it and their hair has grown a lot of my friends as well who you know online probably they all do this and yeah castor oil is like a secret that loads of people know but not everyone knows so i just rub it into my scalp like this and then just massage it all in as much as you can i do find like when i go underneath though it's quite hard to get out I do also want to say, if you're gonna do this, I'd probably like patch test yourself. Castor oil is quite strong, and I have seen people say things about the fact that castor oil has like left them with like burns. Not burns, but like basically it doesn't always like, like everyone, if you know what I mean. So just make sure before you smother it all over your scalp, because it's hard to get off. Maybe just do like one night where you just do a little bit on your scalp and you don't go like full bore like I am right now. Anyway, once I've got like enough in my hair, I just literally massage it into my scalp like this and that's pretty much it. I drag it through my hair slightly. Let me get a little bit closer just so you can see what it's looking like right now, but it's just looking very, very greasy. <laughs> then I get the coconut oil. So this consistency is almost like not quite as thin as water but you can pour this like, you probably all know what coconut oil is like right but it's like it's like water pretty much so i rub this together in my hands and i put this through the ends of my hair so i kind of drag it down and put it all through the ends like this and i just keep going with that i rub it in a lot and like this is super oily as well so once again if you've got fine hair just be careful because you don't want to go too overboard and i know i've already said it but just want to just say it again just make sure guys you wash it out in the morning unless you're really let's say you've got really 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 damaged hair for example 
and you don't want to do anything with it for like months because you just want to get it back like to a really good condition then you could leave this in for days like i don't think there's any harm in your hair there i mean once again please just look it up online before you really take my word for it but let's say if you were just going to leave it in your hair and yeah just for your hair to sort of like recover let's say and then eventually you'd wash it out that should be fine but what i mean is i've made the mistakes of leaving it in my hair kind of like too long and then me like getting ready for a night out or something so let's say for example i put it in my hair tonight then the whole of tomorrow i left it in my hair and then the next day i thought oh i'm gonna wash it out tonight because i'm gonna go to a party no it just isn't the same what happens is it goes like just oil it's just when you wash your hair you can like feel like thick patches in it and it takes like three good washes to get it out but like this when you definitely wash it out the next day well i find it no problem two shampoos in the morning and your hair will be good to go but it just keeps your hair so much softer so after i've done that obviously my hair is all oiled up so i've got castor oil in my roots and i do bring it down to about here and then i've got coconut oil all through the ends and i kind of like mix it all together basically but I don't like leaving my hair down now, like when I go to bed, because you sleep on this and then oil gets on your face and I feel like it's just not good for your skin. So what I do is I then plait my hair and obviously plaiting it is as simple as just plaiting it. So I bring it to the side because I sleep on my back. So I don't like things being on my back or on the back of my head because then it obviously hurts your head. And all I do is I just do a straightforward plait and your hair will feel really kind of like greasy and oily right now but i kind of like it also i'd just like to say that these oils are so inexpensive i obviously yeah just get them from amazon i'll link the ones down below that i use they're kind of organic and you know they haven't got any bad things in them or anything like that they just are what they say on the tin which is always great so i plait my hair all the way to the end we're still going <laughs> we're still going and then once i get to the end i just use a silk scrunchie you could use any scrunchie but i spoke to you guys about it before silk scrunchies are so much better for your hair i leave it kind of loose and that is how i use my hair reels so just remember in the morning i get up i do two shampoos and then condition my hair and it's all gone if you've got finer hair use less product and probably do a few more shampoos you've just kind of got to road test it my only advice to you is probably the first time you do it, do not do it when you're going somewhere special the next day because I don't want to be the one to blame that your hair's all greasy when it's a real special occasion. So just kind of like test drive it. Although I'm rubbing all this coconut oil over my chest. <laughs> coconut oil is so good for your skin as well, guys. Um, also, before you use the castor oil, just make sure and just like patch test yourself or whatever before you smother it all over your scalp because... I have heard of people kind of reacting to it. But anyway, I know so many of you have been asking that question, but that is actually kind of like one of my hair secrets on how I keep my hair looking luscious and blonde. <laughs> um, and actually the other one is that Pantene oil. I absolutely love that. And also Moroccan oil. I could do like a whole hair care video soon, I guess. But this is like my nighttime hair care routine. And this is like one of my main ways I look after my hair. Anyway, I'm off to bed, so thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll hopefully see you in my next one.